It's that time of year where everyone wants pumpkin, whether it's pumpkin, actual pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, or freaking pumpkin spice lattes from freaking Starbucks. I've been drinking pumpkin spice cream cold brews for the past couple weeks and I absolutely love it. But today we're looking at some of the weirdest pumpkin spice flavored items on the market. So before we jump into this video, I just want to know your opinion about pumpkin spice because I feel like that could that could change the way you see these products that we're about to look at. So what is your initial opinion about pumpkin spice? Well, I used to hate it. Like pumpkin spice lattes, I've had one and I hated it. But the pumpkin cream cold brews are incredible. So I think I like it now. Okay. Do you like pumpkin pie? Mm, I haven't had it in a long time, but probably. So you're not like a pumpkin hater? No, I'm cool with it. Okay. So yeah, let's get looking at these freaking night, Aren't you gonna ask me? Oh yeah, what's your opinion on it? <laughs> you don't care about my opinion. Well, you're probably gonna say, I love pumpkin spice yeah. lattes. No, I don't really like pumpkin spice lattes. I do like pumpkin spice though. Okay. Like pumpkin spice in my oatmeal. Mm. Okay, starting off with uh, a pumpkin spice chicken sausage. Okay, yeah, this is not starting off good. First off, who the F gets chicken sausage? That is disgusting. And on top of that, you're gonna get pumpkin spice chicken sausage. That's a big no for me. I feel like this one, ironically, in my opinion, could be potentially good. Nutmeg and cinnamon in a, no. Now that I'm saying it out loud, there's no way this is good. This is disgusting. That's the most vegan thing I've ever heard you say, to be honest with you. That's, that's a hard pass for both of us. Good Lord. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm eating a Pringle, I'm not going for a pumpkin pie. Is this a thing spice. or like sweet? This would be sweet, right? It's a pie. Yeah, this would be like... Like, do you think that this is the thing? Sweet Pringles? That sounds disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But when I'm eating Pringles, I don't want that type of flavor. I want barbecue. I want yeah. ranch. Yeah, like a chip flavor. not. But I guess like maybe if it was like cinnamon sugar, then you know that that's going to be good. What if you get cheesecake and then you crush some of these on top of it with a little, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Uh... Okay, so there could be a use for them. Yeah, maybe. No, maybe. I would literally never buy this. Yeah, me never. either. Me either. Pumpkin pasta sauce. Ew. That, like you would put this on spaghetti yeah. or? Yeah, that's terrible. I wonder what that, if, if it tastes good, you might as well pour that on top of like your pumpkin pie. No, see, this is what I think. I think the opinion of pumpkin is wrong in this culture because pumpkin pie is sweet. So if we think of pumpkin, we think sweet, right? Like a pumpkin spice latte is mm -hmm. sweet, but pumpkin's not actually sweet. True. It's like a squash. True. So I feel like if that was butternut squash pasta sauce, I'd be like, yeah, I would have that. But why pumpkin, you know? It's like, we don't think of pumpkin as savory, but technically it is savory. I really just dropped some science on you there, folks. I won't lie. I don't know what you just said, but it sounded good. So we're going with it. No, no. What? Is that how you spell hummus? Hummus. No, H-U-M-M-U-S. This is fake. <gasps> they faked it. I was like, oh my no gosh, wait, it is fake. Like the closer you look at it, like you can tell that the label's not actually on that. <gasps> Are you sure? Yeah, look, it's like the label's like a different kind of like, it's in different lighting. Is that how you spell hummus though? No, H-U-M-M-U-S. What the? You lying little jerks. See, like this just looks too real to be fake. Now, well, I'm, I get... now I feel like I'm questioning if all of these are real. But is this flavored like pumpkin though? It's just, no. I think it's just like Named the name. That, yeah. yeah, for like Halloween purposes probably. Yeah, because I mean, it says right there, orange and green popping candy. So yeah. I think it's just the color. When was the last time you had a pop rock? Maybe in high school? Cool. What about you? 2013. Oh. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. It's been a while. It's been a long time. No. No. Uh, I'm going to say no to pumpkin spice salmon. I think that that would not be good. See, but like, is it pumpkin spiced? Is that like like the cinnamon-y yeah. type, right? Yeah, that's weird. Like pumpkin flavored salmon, maybe. Maybe, but the pumpkin spice, that could actually be pretty good pumpkin spice. I mean, it might have like a, uh, like a, uh, a syrupy taste, you know, uh, like a- Yeah, that could be good. Cause like teriyaki is like sweet. Like a mapley, like a maple. I feel like we're really giving these foods their shot, you know? Yeah, I know, right? But no, I, if I saw this, I don't think I'd buy it. And I don't think anyone else is buying it mm. with the looks of how much of it is left compared to yeah. all the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pumpkin spice Solomon. No. Dang, I I didn't know Sprouts had so much pumpkin spice stuff. This is disgusting. Pumpkin spice salsa. Like that just, no. imagine dipping a chip in that thinking it's normal salsa and. Mm. 
Is that pumpkin spice? Like, have we tried this? Like, I feel like we need to almost try it I know, I before too. we uh, before we knock it. Like, like I said, I love the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brews. They are so freaking good. So maybe I'd love the pumpkin spice salsa, even though I'm pretty confident I'd freaking hate it. But there's still a chance. I want to know if you guys want to see a video like that. So if you guys want Andrew and I to try a bunch of different pumpkin spice products, let us know in the comment section below, and we will definitely do that video for you. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. But okay, yeah, you heard the lady. These would be good. Hmm. I guarantee you these would be good. This reminds me of like a sweet potato tortilla chip, and those are good. But see, these aren't pumpkin spice, oh. you know? Like, I feel like pumpkin spice is like a dessert. It's so like the pumpkin spice salsa would be like a dessert, mm. you know? But you're not eating salsa for dessert. But this would be good because it's just pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. yeah it's like the squash. Yeah. So like, bro. Figure it out, man. Pumpkin spice water. Ew. These brands really going all out for fall. I'm That's telling gotta be you, at a dollar they are just store, right? pulling it out. That's got to be at the I dollar store. Pumpkin no. spice water. That is disgusting. Oh my Definitely god. Definitely would not. Zero buy that. calories though. So there you go. Now this is this relates to me to me more than Claire Bear because she doesn't fish. But I don't think these um these little. Uh, super flukes are gonna taste like pumpkin spice. I don't think the fish care. I think it's just the coloring, which I think is an accurate color. It is funny though, because it does seem like the fish want pumpkin. <laughs> it is funny though that they call it pumpkin spice. Like that's kind of funny, you know? It's like uh, that's the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Spam, first off, is disgusting. If you have to eat spam and you can't think of anything else to eat, I'm sorry, but if you go as low as to get pumpkin spice spam, like is that a breakfast dessert? That's kind it's hard to say. Pumpkin spice spam? Pumpkin spice spam. Well, technically it's spam. Limited edition pumpkin spice. In the article that we found this picture, it says it might have started out as a joke, but this spice spam is very real and hits the shelves September 23rd at spam.com that's a walmart.com that's a that's a website spam.com right i kind of want to see if it's real i don't really believe it they actually have it pork with ham sugar water salt modified potato starch spices and sodium nitrate it has good reviews oh my gosh wait i mean I'm it has actually, 18 reviews i use the product for pie <laughs> What kind of pie are you eating? Yeah, I used a I used a full turkey for for some pie as well. <clears throat> My God, wait! This spam tasted like sweet Christmas ham. It goes very well in sweet potato hash topped with eggs. That I seems got a little four more cans, accurate. and I'm saving at the last two for Christmas. You should have made more. Oh, they're sold out. Darn. Maybe next year. Oh, now I can relate to this because I absolutely love me some Kit Kats. I got one on the ready at all times. You never know when the Kit Kat comes a crying. I'm going to eat the Kit Kat until I'm dying. Keep going. I'm going to eat that Kit Kat while I'm crying. And while that Kit Kat keeps me from flying. Keep going. Flying away from the Kit Kat. Going to find my hat hat. Going to the store to buy more. Kit Kats with my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Frick. See, this makes sense to me. Like pumpkin spice tea. Mm. Like that sounds good. I think that would be good. That sounds like a good cup of joe. Like that sounds good. Like that sounds good. You know? I don't like it. Pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. Ooh. That's a cool looking bag. I want Creative Saks Co. There's your shout out. Sponsor us. I would drink this. I, no, yeah, probably not. No, I think I would try it. That just looks like pumpkin, like mashed potatoes. Ooh, it kind of does. Like, like a sweet potato uh, mash. If something. it was pumpkin spice cold brew cream smash smoothie, then yeah, man, I'm drinking that. Boom, and now while all of you guys are selfishly thinking of yourself, I want pumpkin spice spam. I want pumpkin spice tea. You got to think about your pets right here. Greenies, dental treats, pumpkin spice flavor. So the next time your chihuahua is looking at you all jealous because you're drinking a pumpkin cream cold brew, get them a pumpkin cream or a pumpkin spice flavored greeny dental treat. How do you know if they're pumpkin spice though? Like, do you really ever know what the dog treats taste like? I eat dog treats. Oh.
You can have Oreos, right? Aren't those vegan? Wow, well, there you go, Claire. You can go to your local Walmart and get yourself some pumpkin spice cream Oreos. The bad thing is I don't like Oreos, so. I think you got mad at me the last time I said Oreos weren't that good. And you're no, like, I are didn't. you serious? They're the best cookies ever. <sighs> is this jello or is that pudding? Like, look how. The... It's pudding. Is it pudding? Pudding and it's pie not jello, filling. It's because jello is like clearer, but jello, the brand, still makes pudding. True. I would actually eat this. You think? Yeah. If it's cold, it's probably tastes like pumpkin pie, honestly. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I would eat this, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Well, there you guys have it. Me and Claire Bear, your favorite YouTube couple, looked at some of the weirdest pumpkin spice flavored foods ever. Whether it was Pop Rocks or Dog Bones, they got it all, and people will will pay any for anything. That has pumpkin spice on it. Literally anything. Anything. Including Andrew every day to buy pumpkin spice cold brew. But that's good and it's justified. Even though we spend like $3 million a week on it. But I love it. But that's me for today, you guys. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And we will see you guys in the next one. Have a great pumpkin spice day. I honestly think that that's a good idea. And I want to know if... Ugh.